um, nobody forced him to do anything that he was saying. Nobody said, yo, you have to be. This is what he, he wanted. This is what he came into us as. I didn't, I didn't meet him and say, yo, this is what you got to do. Yo, put it his head and say, yo, tell him the world suck your dick. And nah, I was just yeah. there to support it like a real nigga would. Like anything right or wrong, you write him on. Just play it too. Yeah. Right. I said, right or wrong, good. If you had the opportunity today to just see Takashi, would you, like, just think of, just this like a hypoth hypothetically, like, if you saw him, what, what would you have to say to him? I just let him know I pity him, man. Like, I, I forgive him. I pity him, but, uh, like, oh, you, you, you ain't had to go that route. Like, you, ain't, you really ain't have to do this, man. And it's not, forget about me and him. The, 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 the families of the people around us that you don't had do 15 years in prison and also cooperate. It just doesn't happen. I've cross examined the uh, cooperators that have killed four, five, six, seven, eight people and they've spent two, three, four years in prison. There is no cooperation. There's never been cooperation. There was never a proffer. There was never even a discussion of a proffer. And any idiot who says it is just a f liar and it's outrageous Great. it's outrageous it's damnable to say it because you're putting people in danger you're putting their lives in danger and you know what it's not right it's not right it's absolutely not right you want to cooperate god bless you don't falsely accuse someone of cooperating there are enough people in the street that want to kill people that are cooperating Cafano jordan doesn't deserve it and there is not a scintilla of evidence that he has ever even asked me to set up a meeting and if there is Anybody who can find that evidence, I'll give you a million dollars. You've got it right here, I promise you. It doesn't exist. It's a, a, it's a damnable lie. Chicken Upson, check it out. Now, I got to let y'all know my position on shoddy. Because I know a lot of y'all say, yo, yo, you 6 ix homie, blah, blah. If you don't know, currently in court, I mean, 6 9 may have helped get shoddy more years or gotten him a worse deal. Who knows? However, they aren't cool. They weren't cool going into jail. They ain't cool in jail. Now... How do I feel about Shadi? Honestly, I could only judge a person on how they treat me, how they've been to me, how I've seen them be when I'm around them. And Shadi, honestly, was always a protector. Anytime I've been around Shadi, he made it very clear that before anybody hurt anybody around him, he would die. Literally, point blank, period. He is someone who has put himself on the line, and he's someone who, even if maybe sometimes he should have said, chill, he was willing to back up anything from the people he loved. Now, are there other things to his character that I may not know, that I may have found out about them in the media or heard about from whoever? Yes. However, my experience with him has been nothing but positive. So it is really a sad situation when I see him get sentenced. And if you don't know, Shadi, a.k.a. Kefano Jordan, he was sentenced to 15 years. And I'm not going to lie, I didn't feel too good about this. And by the way, if you're wondering why the story is late, man, this shit does kind of hit home. Uh, listen, I spent countless hours, I mean countless hours, in a studio talking to Shadi in hotels, just the hotel lobbies, talking to him like, yo, listen, I know what you're trying to build. I know what you're trying to do. I know how you're going to get there. And I see how you're acting and moving like a renegade, which shit it might get a few things done, but be careful. Also, you got to stop doing a few things. You can't, I've always said, you can't be a famous criminal. You can't be in headlines acu being accused of certain shit if you want to be some big executive. And I've always said as well, you got to protect this kid because honestly, that's the golden goose egg that's going to get you to where you want to go. I'm not ever here to do these stories to make shoddy look a certain type of way to make 6 ix 9 look like a hero, or to make any of these guys really look any type of way. I have experiences with some of them, and I still hold that sentiment about them. So I would never make it seem like, who's a snake or who did this? But it really saddened me when he got sentenced. And I know he knew what's coming, but once the judge gavel hits and they say, Shadi, a.k.a. Kefano Jordan, you're sentenced to 15 years, that's what he got. 15 years behind federal prison, and he even openly wept. I got to be honest with y'all. I know a lot of y'all, listen, there is a detachment with doing a lot of these stories. I don't know a lot of these niggas who I'm doing stories on. Honestly, 
I don't know their situations and I've never been around in particular rooms where I see these people plan out their futures or they're basically pledging allegiance to the other person, just pretty much putting on the line how much they care about somebody or how much they care about what they got going on. So perhaps, and you might be right if you're in the comments saying, yo, Ak, you treating this different? Yeah, I am going to treat this different. I got inside knowledge. I got firsthand point of view in a lot of cases. So while I'm not here to sit and say, oh, it's so-and-so, the reason why so-and-so is blah, blah, and that might still be true. I'm just not here to point fingers. I will also say this, because I've seen his lawyer mention People were saying that Shadi was snitching or blah, 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 cooperating. I know nothing of that, okay? By the way, remember at one time they were trying to say I was cooperating, and that's what Shadi's lawyer said, which at the time, which was Scott Lima on his lawyer, he said he never said it, and I even provided audio to the people at TMZ which realized that Shadi's lawyer never said it. But, but, but regardless of the case, people were saying that maybe Shadi was also involved in cooperating just because they're seeing 15 years and i guess people want him to get more his lawyer his new lawyer came out on public record and said if y'all find any proof that he cooperated or he quote unquote snitched on anybody we got a million dollars for y'all and about by the way that's his lawyer i know he's meant to defend him but when a lawyer speaks so adamantly and is offering up a monetary incentive you could know that maybe there isn't much proof of those allegations. That's all I can say. Regardless, my biggest takeaway from this is I've been around Shadi. I know he's a family man. I've been when they were running around town and I was with them. Shadi was calling up, checking on his kids, his family. And this is the part that hurts the most about all of this. Because his family and kids are going to be suffering because of this situation. He's going to be away from them. He's not going to be able to provide for them. They're going to be growing up without a father for 15 years, possibly. And I send my sympathy to them. Of course, I know all these niggas involved in all the, the, this RICO case, they're grown men. They're making decisions as grown men. But you cannot forget that there are innocent bystanders and family members and people who rely on them that maybe they ain't know all the shit that was going down but they relied on their dad, their brother, their son, their uncle, not only to provide a check, but to be there. So I just want to say I really send my sympathy and I pray for his family. Shadi going to be good. Shadi, let, me, let me tell you this. Listen, y'all might, my, my, my point of view might be different, but Shadi's a gangster gangster, okay? I've seen him when there was, he was, in LA and people was trying to do whatever and he he didn't care if he was alone he would never back down he didn't bend he didn't fold you feel me so i i'm only putting that into perspective to say he'll be okay and also which you know i've had this discussion with them he was never the person to run from accountability he made it very clear to me that if Doing what he was doing or riding for the things that he was riding for, if it resulted in some of the very obvious ways that you know those things result in, he was okay with it. And not saying that he wanted it, but he understood the consequences. So, of course, I know Shadi's going to be fine. Um, listen, I sent my well wishes to him. He's been a great guy to me. Um... It's very unfortunate what happened with him in 6ix9ine. Also very unfortunate what happened with him being arrested as well. But I send my prayers and my well wishes to his family. And honestly, I hope in due time, the story of Shadi doesn't end with him being incarcerated. It continues with him telling what he's learned and also continuing to help other people. And, you know, fulfilling his dream of being in the music business. When I say... and. Of course, I include in this video that when he got that, uh, he got the ruling that he was going to serve 15 years, he cried. It's not a sign of weakness. And I don't think there's nothing weak about Shadi. I feel like he knows some of the people who he probably let down. He knows some of the people who he's going to be absent in their lives, at least physically, for some years. So I just want to send my love, my condolences, and my blessings 
to his entire family and also to him. Again, not because him and 6 9 were at odds means I ever saw anything that was like, oh, shit, Shadi's a bad guy. Again, you know, this might come down to a matter of perspective. It's not my place to say who's right, who's wrong. Um, honestly, just a sad situation, man. And I will say from my experience with him, he was a pretty genuine dude. All right? Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Jackie Demix.